Today I have the pleasure of speaking with David Morgan, the founder of the Morgan Report. How are you today, David? I'm well, thank you, Tracy. Well, you're looking great, David, and uh, it's good to see you. It's been too long. It's been a while. Um, David, the reason I'm calling you, number one, gold, this fall, we have people telling us the buying frenzy is going to start now. Yes, no, or maybe? I think maybe. I don't think the frenzy will start until next year. Okay, so the frenzy is going to start approximately next year. And we have people saying they love base metals right now. Yes, no, or maybe. Where are you at with base metals? Neutral to the positive. We really like zinc. We're the first on the zinc shortage. And if you just look at Kitco's charts, you know we're at a very low ebb right now. So it's a good, we like zinc. We like uh, zinc over copper or lead. Well, I was just about to ask you if you have a favorite metal. Can dare I ask you to select your favorite uh, metal? That's that's a difficult question for you, isn't it? Yeah, very difficult. Silver is still my favorite metal for on the precious metal side. Okay, so silver's number one, and if you had a number two, three candidate to take to the ball, who would you take? Well, gold, but I'd actually hedge it with palladium. We were right on the palladium call. It's been working out very well for us. We did a special white paper for the Morgan Report uh, matters on, on the palladium market. And, of course, people call you every day, pitching you on companies. Can you tell yeah. me what the most interesting or unique company that's been pitched to you in the last 14 days has been? 14 days? Oh, Jackson. I'd say the most recent, probably a little more than 14 days, is Jackson Minerals. We did a courtesy write-up about the company uh, in the last one we reported. Okay. And say the most interesting gold company. You said you like near-term near near producers, yes? Yeah, I'm conservative. We look at the speculative side, too. Yeah, this one I've been pushing pretty hard, which is a uh, technology company for electronic waste. We still like that sort of great deal. Okay, for near-term producers in gold, did you have any that are on the back of your hand? I know we love sage gold. Yeah, sage is one that we certainly have looked at when we've uh, mailed out to our, our subscriber base. We also uh, have a few in mind. I won't say too much because of the CAs, and I'm also associated with another company, you know, Mary Royalties, and so I kind of have a little bit of a clap down on me. I hope you appreciate that. I totally appreciate that. So on this note, can you tell us what we should be looking forward to, say, this fall? What would be the highlight that we should be looking for as investors? Is there any comment that you have about fall investing? Absolutely. Uh, you know, I do technical work as well as fundamental, and I look for the market to tell me the most. I look for a breakout. The market gives us that cue. I'll we'll certainly give it to our members in interviews like this. Well, David, thank you so much for joining us today. It's great to see you. Thanks for having me. And for all of you Investor Intel audience members out there, we'd love your feedback. Please write your comments on our YouTube channel, and we will reply. Thank you so much, David.